What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. Welcome back to a whole nother video. As you can see by the thumbnail and title, I did got some new wheels like a week or so ago, a couple days ago. Uh, they came off an S550. Now they a 20 uh, inch wheel. Uh, the backs, they got 275s on uh, 40, on some 20s. And the fronts, I have 245s, 30 on 20s, if that make any sense. But anyway, uh, the back two fit, but I do have a little rubbing on the back side, so I gotta make that clear or see why. Um, and also, my front two tires, I had ordered one tire from this uh, tire shop. I got a uh, two third, I think I got two 35 30s for some 20s for the front. So we're gonna see how that fits. So I ordered one tire um, because I couldn't get a refund back. So I said, you know what, let me just order one tire and just go from there. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let me know what y'all think about the wheels. I like it, I dig it. I think it's making the car look more uh, settled in a way, but cool looking, um, but not too crazy. They might taking these decals and stuff off, just having the car like clean or playing, or I might just keep the decals on. I'm throwing back on the old roof rack. My other skybox had literally ripped off on the interstate. And mind you, that's like a about like a five hundred dollar skybox. No, I think it had it had to been more than that. It had to been more than that. It had to been like a thousand. It had to been more. I probably got to get the prep price breakdown for that. But it had, that was a pretty expensive skybox. So skybox is out of the way. I don't have that no more. Uh, just got the bottom side of it. We got the roof rack, my older one on instead of the skybox that flew off once again. Uh, it's a bummer, but hey, it is what it is. Um, the wheels, they fit in the back perfect. It just, for this reason, on the driver passenger side, it rubs a little bit and stuff. And I went to look, my wheels kind of offset a little bit, so I got to figure that situation out. But it, it drives perfect on the uh, passenger uh, back uh, side uh, perfectly. So the front two wheels, Hopefully everything goes smooth, everything fit on perfectly. Because I was thinking about getting new wheels anyway for like the longest, because the ones I have on now, even with the lowering springs, it wasn't like doing for me. Like I love the combo and stuff, got great uh, input on it and stuff, but I felt like I needed that gap tucked, um, which I'm gonna show y'all in a bit. One night I was really trying to get that wheel to fit. So I kind of made like some type of modification and tweaks. Um, I probably should have waited, but I was just so anxious to get the wheels on by say, you know, I gotta be patient with this. In life, you gotta be patient. Like be patient with everything, just take your time. So that's what I'm doing right now. Taking my time, getting the right tire size for the front so we can uh, work with it. As you can see guys, these wheels tuck so good and they look so good and all that. But you do see a little rubbish about right here. You like you just rub on the edge slightly. So I gotta figure this out. I'm gonna have to end up jacking this car up just to see why it's rubbing and all that. So like I said, this is the old wheel. This is the 18. Uh, this is a 20 right here, not bad. But man, look at the tuck and fitment. Now it drives pretty good and smooth. But like I said, the only trouble I'm having is on the left side and all that. But this wheel drives perfect. Um, but if I put load on it, um, I might not put no load on it. I might have to just leave it how it is. Or I might have to just go with some uh, smaller uh, set of tires. Because these are 275, 35s. And yeah, I might have to just go with a smaller tire probably. But I'm going to work with the front two tires. And then I'm going to work with the back and uh, see how that go. Because I could get a smaller tire um, just to have like an extra little clearance. Or the guy I was talking to, the uh, guy I bought the wheels from, he said I could put the older springs back on, which they are much taller, but I feel like it's going to just have a gap and stuff. It ain't going to look right to me. So I'll just go with some coilovers or maybe have to try to bag this thing right here. I don't know, but I just want it like nice and simple, but it looks uh, perfectly fine and good. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Would y'all stick with this wheel right here or would y'all have went with that wheel right there? And this is the front wheel right here, as you can see. Uh, my front caps couldn't even fit over the hub part because of this. Um, 
but these are 18s and what size tires is it on i'm not sure oh yeah 235 40 yeah 235 40 i'm trying to get is 235 30 so in in the 20s so it should work but with the 20s it rub on that back um arm right there or spindle whatever you want to call it i'm not sure um but it kind of touches it and i try to make clearance but it's still uh was still touching so i have to just feel like get a smaller tire if not i might have to run some spacers around but uh we will see but i like this wheel i dig it um but once i get the front ones on everything you know turns rolls easy them and those selling these um you know that's just pretty much it anyway guys this is the other wheel the front ones are 245 20 yeah well they're not bad though but like i said we put a smaller tire make it stretch we'll see i'm not really concerned about uh potholes now i said 20 or 30 it's uh 245 40 so like i said we're gonna be going smaller anyway now look at the recommended uh tire size this was not in specs uh, let me say that but the 235s was uh and no so we're gonna just uh go with that all right guys so like i said we got a checklist that we gotta go through so first thing first we gotta get the front two wheels on for this car um uh, it's gonna look so sick and badass um, as you can see, this is the original tire right here. Like I said, I'm going to sell it uh, once I get the front two on. And we need to see why this car is in limp mode, as you've seen by the two previous codes, which I will put it back right here again. These are the two codes we have. Um, keep uh, throwing the car in limp mode. Um, like I said, it might be something like in the conductor plate. Um, but maybe we got to just uh, change the fluid, do the easiest and cheapest thing first before we actually deep dive in this thing and i'm it, i meant to tell y'all my hood got stuck too and i had to take that apart so i gotta buy like a new piece and stuff so i gotta buy like small miscellaneous uh pieces for this car because i want like this car to be like uh in good shape and like i said i might have to end up taking it to the dealership anyway because i gotta get my key uh taken out because it's like stuck in the niche and it can't even pull out so things just it's like a domino effect when one thing break another uh, as you've seen before my alternator had broken and we replaced it everything was running great and fine and then the next thing you know we got uh, other issues and stuff but that's what it comes when it uh comes with these cars and stuff and i thought about selling this car honestly i'm thinking about selling it i'm thinking about like getting it uh to where it need to be at and then just selling it um i got the car for like 3k uh from somebody i knew um and they car it was just sitting there like perfect and stuff like nothing um I don't know how much I would sell it for though with all the stuff I would put into and stuff. Cause it's a great car. The car only got like it even hit like a hundred and like sixty. About like around 140 something miles uh for this car. And I don't be beating on a car like that. I drive it, but mainly the most time I mainly just be cruising this car. Cause this car is really a cruiser. It's not even something you really want to, you know, be like race type car. Unless I need a, a E430 or E55. But and there's not that much modifications for this car either, so it probably will be a good sale to do it. So I'm like, why not? Man, it feels so great outside. I really do. That's why I'm laying on the ground and on my tire. Now I gotta wash my hands stuff so, after this. But anyway, the wheels look so good. And I know y'all probably worried about the missing lug and I have the other one. I'm about to take these wheels off. I'm about to jack this car up sometime. Uh I might have to buy some jack stands because the Porsche's on that. Thinking about hopping on the Porsche uh, to get that done. I'll be having a lot going on for no reason. Um, stay tuned for the Tahoe. Like an update on that. I mean, everything is done, but we got one issue, guys. So I need uh, I need some input on figuring that out. And it's just weird situation so stay tuned for another video so i'm gonna drop this video and then i'm gonna drop a video on the tahoe do an update 
and that's pretty much it but yeah see y'all man thank y'all stay strong out there <laughs> that was pretty weird that was pretty weird but thank y'all for the love and support hey road to 1k man drive while y'all can you know stay with broken cars and how you stop do what y'all love doing i love w210s i love porsches i love chevy titles i love cars in general um it's always like a domino effect so if i could actually get this car because this car is supposed to be sitting right now and the truck we're supposed to be driving right now so you know things just happen we just got to make things work so i see y'all thanks for love and support and man stay at it stay at it stay at it like whatever you do man stay at it and don't let nothing beat you up and if it do beat you up take time away just to think and then come back to it but don't don't stay away from it too long but anyway see y'all finna drop this video it is saturday and uh if you stayed this far you're a true og see y'all